So we've already completed the first step in developing our slideshow, which is selecting the images and creating a collection for them. We can browse through each image in our slideshow by clicking through them in the film strip. So for example, if you wanted to load this image in your slideshow preview area, you simply click on the thumbnail. It would be a good idea to select the template we'd like to use for our slideshow before configuring other important options. In the template browser, expand the Lightroom templates menu. The first template here will display a caption and a rating for each slide in our slideshow. So here is the rating. We've given this uh, image two out of five stars. And this image doesn't have a caption in the metadata, so we don't see anything here yet, just an empty set of quotes. We can add a caption by returning to the library module and adding a caption in the metadata panel for this image. So I'll go ahead and scroll down to the metadata panel. And here's the caption area. So we can type in anything. I'll just type in grass and go back to the slideshow. And now you can see the caption is uh, presented in the empty quotes. The second template here is crop to fill. And here our slide takes up the full width of the presentable area. So that's before, and this is the crop to fill. So you can see it takes up uh, a much larger um, portion of the viewing area. Okay, next over here, we have the uh, EXIF metadata. This is a nice template. It's, it's quite commonly used. This template shows a number of important details about the image. Uh, this information can be valuable to your audience who might want some background on where the image was taken and the settings used for the photo, all of which can be found on the slide. So at the top left, we have our identity plate heading and star rating. On the right, we have uh, the time that the image was taken. And on the bottom, we have the photographer and location. On the bottom right, we have the aperture, ISO, and focal length used for the shot. So this is all great information that uh, people would certainly like to know about your photograph. And in the next lecture, we'll start uh, exploring the, the options on the right side of the interface.